Hey Leo, welcome to your September reading. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Priscilla Bernstein. I'm the Soul Alignment Specialist and I'm here to help you alchemize every area of your life to be in alignment with your soul desires so you can live that F yes life. And if you've been here before, welcome back to the channel. It's so great to have you back. And um, we are about to enter into Mercury retrograde tomorrow on the 9th and then in have the full moon in Pisces on the 10th. So just know that there's a lot happening cosmically and I will be offering a full moon meditation on my Patreon as well as extended reading. So your extended reading from this reading will be on Patreon as well. So let's get into it and see what is in store for you, my beautiful Leos, my beautiful lion babes. Hope everybody's had a good start to your September and let's see what spirit has in store for you. So we got the star card reversed and the princess of wands sideways. What lessons are you learning this month? We got the King of Swords reversed, the Two of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Hearts reversed, the Prince of Hearts reversed, and the Death card upright. And I'll hold these up a little bit later as I'm talking about them. But what is the spiritual guidance, please, for my Leo babes? I love these cards, but they're just a little too big for me to handle sometimes. I have really little hands. So let's see here. We have the seven of wands reversed, the two of swords upright, the five of swords reversed, and the tower card. Leo, what is happening this month for you? All right, and the overall energy that you're working through. Thank you, spirit. We have the Hierophant sideways, the Five of Wands sideways, and the Ten of Swords upright. Híjole. Okay. I am going to pull some clarifiers for you, and then we are going to really get into your reading here. Can I get a clarifier for this first stack, please? The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands reversed. Can I get a clarifier for the second stack? Thank you, Spirit. The Six of Cups upright. Can I get a clarifier for the third stack, please? The Hermit upright. And remember, this is a general reading, but sometimes these come out really personal. Um, so if parts of this doesn't resonate with you, but some parts do, then just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. I'm going to take this thing off because it keeps falling off my shoulders. All right. So let's get into it, Leo. So what is, what you have to look forward to this month or what's in store? We have the star reversed and the princess of wands upright with the clarifiers of the queen of cups reversed and the 10 of wands reversed. So what I'm getting here You may be getting some news this month that kind of takes you out of that kind of takes you out of your mojo a little bit that kind of like knocks you off your center and you being kind of that the star of your life right of being able to nurture yourself and allow yourself to um to really shine. It may kind of dim your light a little bit is what I'm sensing. So if you see here, there's like these butterflies around here, there's something kind of transformational that's coming in and she is um, reading a letter here. So there's something that may come in that may surprise you. And, and because it was sideways like this, what's interesting what I'm getting is it, it's, it's incoming. It hasn't probably happened yet. It's coming in. And so, um, or you may be getting it like right now, but it's gonna kind of knock you off and like dim your light a little bit is what I'm getting. And interestingly enough, the um, the clarifiers here, we got the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups reversed. So it's, it may, 
it may clear up a lot around something to do with your heart and something that you hold near and dear to you. And it also may, um, it may clear up some confusion around the like discipline that you've had or around, um, you know, some sort of like darkness or oppressive nature that you've had that you've been kind of fighting. Like, I feel like it's going to bring some stuff to the surface and that's why it's going to kind of dim your light because it's like going to release all the stuff that's kind of been hidden below. Let's see. Let's go a little further because we did get a lot of cards in what your lesson is or what you're learning this month. And so we had all these reversal cards. We had the King of Swords reversed, the Two of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Hearts reversed, and the Prince of Hearts reversed with the Death card. And then the Six of Cups was upright. The only cards that were upright were the Death and the Six of Cups. So I just want to go through this really quick. So there was, you have the King of Swords. This is the fastest king of the deck. He's the one that's quick-witted, that has quick ideas that are really like fire, you know? They just cut through everything. But it's like, maybe you thought things were going a certain way. Maybe you were so certain about something and you felt balanced in your physical reality. But what I'm getting here with the Seven of Hearts and this Prince of Pentacles is there was something that was an illusion. There was some sort of like love offering or something near and dear to your heart that was an illusion. And so with this, all of this stuff has, is surfacing with whatever that news is. And it's so interesting because I hadn't said that about like these being general readings and take what resonates and leave what doesn't and like that it could be really personal. I hadn't said that in any of the other readings this month for whatever reason, normally I do, but it really came through very strongly to say that right at the beginning because this felt like almost like it was gonna be really personal. So I'm sorry for those of you that this doesn't resonate with, but there's something really strong coming through here around this being an illusion and around it being like a pipe dream almost. Like you invested all of your chips in a castle made in the sand or in the sky, you know? Like there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot to that was tangible to hold on to. And because of that, the foundation was really weak, right? And so there's going to be some sort of death around your foundation when it comes to family or that person that you were building a life with. Um, this could be your family that you choose, right? Your like friends and the people that you spend all your time with. This can be um, the, you know, something to do with your partner or the home that you're in, but there's some sort of like death that's gonna happen around this, okay? And so, there, I'm not saying there was deception because I don't see the um, the Seven of Swords anywhere. I don't think we had that, did we? No, I'm not seeing any deception, but I'm seeing that the foundation wasn't strong and it there was a bit of an illusion, like a disillusion, like you're being disillusioned at this time, right? And so the spiritual um, guidance, we have the five of swords reversed, the two of swords upright, the seven of wands, and then we have the tower. So there's a tower moment coming for you. And um, it's going to bring you into a place of hermit mode. It's going to kind of make you shut down a little bit, Leo. I'm getting that um, you're gonna take some time alone and it's gonna be really, really necessary. And so with that, just know that foundations crumble and we get these tower moments when things were not in alignment, when things weren't really built from a strong structural place and they weren't gonna be able to sustain themselves. So just know whatever's coming on the back end, whatever has to be rebuilt, is going to be stronger and better for it. Your life is going to be stronger and better for it. So if this is your home, if this is your family, if this is, you know, your relationship or your career, you know, it's just something that's really near and dear to your heart that it was like legacy energy that you were building a lot towards, right? So whatever that foundational piece is that's crumbling right now, it's going to bring, it's going to knock you out a bit and take you out of your light. But what I'm getting is you're going to spend some time alone and it's not worth the fight. It's not worth um, trying to 
finagle. It's not worth trying to push for. Just let it all go and know that, um, that as it does, it's like the storm, the chaos, it all has to have its cycle and you have to let the cycle go. It was interesting because I was having a conversation with a client yesterday and we were talking about how when something's so far in its own inertia, it does no good to try to like reel it in and stop it. You almost have to let it finish its its cycle because there's too much momentum behind it. And so that's kind of what's happening. There's a lot of momentum behind it and it's not going to do you any good to try to stop that momentum. What you need to do is you need to go the opposite way and build your momentum in the opposite direction. And at some point you guys will either collide or move away from each other. So the fight, the um, aspect of like, you know, fighting for it, it's, it's saying it's not worth it. And to let the cycle just like let the storm do what it's going to do because the clearing that comes after the storm is like a rebirth. Okay. And with that, you're going to have a decision. You're going to have to decide between one thing or another. Your path is opening up and this is going to be a beautiful new cycle for you. But the storm has to finalize. Like you can't stop a tornado from tornadoing. You, whatever it's going to destruct, it's going to destruct, but you have to pick up the pieces afterwards. And whatever that is, your new trajectory is because of whatever this storm was, right? And you'll see later on down the line, it may not happen right away, but you'll see later on down the line how all the dots had to connect and how this had to happen to get you in motion towards whatever this new trajectory is because what I'm getting is you wouldn't have chosen it yourself or you wouldn't have had the power to empower yourself to move in that direction without the you know that foundation being knocked out from under you it's like the universe had to step in and do something and it did it um that a lot of that is happening this month with this Mercury retrograde and with this full moon, it's like kicking things into gear. So just know that everything's happening exactly the way that it needs to. And what's coming in the end is will be revealed. There's going to be a decision and trust that you're going to make the right decision, Cancer. Okay. And we're going to go a little bit deeper into this reading with the extended. So hop on over to Patreon when we're done and we'll get even more um, out of this. And so the overall energy you're going to be, um, you're going to be navigating this month. You're kind of toggling between tradition and untraditional. You're moving away from how things used to be and creating a new way of doing things. And with this, it may cause some conflict in your reality. It may cause some conflict with your within your relationships, with your coworkers, with your partner, you know, like there may be some conflict here due to you having to um, pave a new path for yourself. And with this, just don't get caught up in the cycle of um, ripping your world apart just to rip your world apart. You know, you're creating something new here. You're creating something new in the physical. And this dimension of reality that you're in has to be cut into and moved through. Like you need to align and go through the cycle and allow whatever is happening to happen. It's almost like you have to step into the eye of the storm so you can see clearly and let the storm move around you. Because when you think about a hurricane or a tornado, right in the middle, it's super calm. Everything's happening around it and you need to make your way to the middle and find the calm. You need to find the middle way because that's where you're gonna find this new beginning. That's where you're gonna find, you just kind of have to be the eye of the storm and know that it's all moving around you and that you can stay centered and calm in this, but it is literally creating a division and a tear in your physical reality. And that tear is necessary to create this new foundational piece, this new abundance, this new way of being in your physical world. Ooh, Leo, this is good. Okay, um, so I'm gonna give you a oracle message now. Thank you. 
You guys got a lot of them. They know this is a little heavy, so they're saying that, they're acknowledging that, and they're wanting to give you a little bit more here. So let's see what we've got. Transmutation, Fire and Rain, Smoke Screens, The Gathering, Daydreaming Love, The Rising, and Rainbow Road. I'm actually going to read it in this order. So we have two mods here, two butterflies opening up or tearing into the fabric of reality. And there is a new dimension of reality behind them, right? So butterflies or mods really stand for transformation. They stand for change. And you're going through um, a transmutation here, right? It's you and somebody else. It's not just you. It's you and somebody else. So there, this is like a partnership or some sort of collaborative effort here. Like I said, this could be an intimate relationship. This could be your actual partner. This could be with a family member, or this could be something to do with your work or your career, or your job, you know, your company, but there's somebody else here with you. This isn't just on your own, but what I was saying before, it wasn't built from a super strong, strong foundation so it's crumbling now and this transmutation has to happen so allow yourself to move into the breakdown allow yourself to feel everything and as you feel everything you allow it to move through you and you have to keep it moving through you, you can't hold on to any of it that's this is the thing it's like it's like when a moth or a butterfly or a caterpillar goes into the cocoon to become a moth or butterfly, they literally have to break down the mush to be re put back together as the butterfly or the moth, right? So you have to go through the fire and rain. You have to go through whatever the heaviness is, whatever the storm is, and there's going to be stillness. You have to become the center of it, right? You have to become the center around the storm, around the fire and the rain, and know that everything is in orbit. Everything has its trajectory and is doing its thing, and you just need to walk the middle path here. You need to find your center, and you need to allow yourself to be centered to find that sense of peace through the chaos and remember the smoke screen this is smoke screens remember what i said there's something that was an illusion here right and you were building based on smoke screens there was something that was hidden or not fully revealed or not really known maybe by either of you but um you're seeing beyond that now you're seeing the smoke screens for what they are and this is going to be actually a time when um, you're calling in your soul tribe. You're calling in the people around you. Um, you're seeing beneath the mask and you're really seeing who's showing up and who's not showing up. You're aligning yourself with the people who you do feel supported by, who you do feel seen by, who you feel like safe around this is big for you right now so there's going to be the gap the great gathering of you calling in your soul tribe and you can literally do that right now you can call in your soul tribe and just say like spirit sending send me my tribe send me the people that are here to support me send me the right people that i need in my life and as you do that as you ask for it just know that they're coming in and allow yourself to daydream again allow yourself to be in that visioning space you know i know as your world is crumbling around you it's really hard not to focus on what's failing and falling apart and to live in a fantasy but this is what spirit's asking you to do because what you're asking to rebuild and step into you have to vision first so allow yourself to daydream allow yourself to be like a kid and like fantasize about what it is that you truly want, what it is that your soul truly wants, what it is that would feel the best for you at this time, and then begin to vision it, daydream it, attach emotion and feeling to it. And if you can attach an emotion and feeling to it and you get all your cells lit up in your body, you've already created it on the quantum field. It's just a matter of time now before it it aligns. So you have to let go of expectations. You have to let go of all doubt and fears. You have to know it's already created and it's coming in divine timing. And when you're feeling down, you just connect to it, toggle to that future timeline, feel yourself there, see yourself there, envision yourself there, get into that emotion again, tap into the feeling in your body and then let it go. Know that it's coming and just keep 
yourself out of conclusion and in a state of question. How does it get better than this? What else is possible? You know, how do I find peace in this moment? Look for the silver lining in everything and allow yourself to rise. This, you know, like, um, really it is like the things that test us the most and when we have kind of the hardest lessons in our life is because we're coming through a really big breakthrough and this is the rising you're going to rise like a lion after this you are going to be so empowered and so in your strength and who you are and what you want like nobody's gonna be able to fuck with you after this i mean you are the lion you're leo right so you're really going to be fully aligned and fully in your power due to this tower moment, right? And it's like, you'll see later on that it all had to happen to get you through the strength and through the people you were gonna meet and through the experiences that you had to come out on the other side being so much better. And then here's Rainbow Road, right? You're gonna be a lone wolf for a little while. Even though you're doing this with somebody and two of you, I feel like it's two of you. Two of you are going to be really relegating through this. Like you're gonna feel a little bit like a lone wolf comparatively to it being the partnership that it was. It's like you're both on your own singular journeys, but you're both going through it. You're just not going to be, um, it doesn't feel like a collaborative effort in your healing, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what this rainbow road is. It's like, you're kind of going to be out in your own desert, but know that this is an amazing place to be because so much healing happens here. There's not a lot that can thrive and live in the desert, but you know, there's extremes in weather, but there's, because you're kind of forced to be in that that isolated place, it really helps you look inward and, and isolate in around the things that need to change and the things that need to happen. So it's actually a, a beautiful thing to go to the desert when you are needing that um, sense of clarity, if you will. Okay, so um, I'm gonna pull one more card for you, Leo. This is going to be the moon card, the energy that you need to hold on to throughout the month to really have the best outcome here. Thank you, Spirit. You're blossoming. Just know that you're blossoming. We have to go through chaos. I just saw 2222. You have to go through chaos. When we think about a seed being planted, I heard this quote the other day and it said, you may be thinking that you just got buried by whatever the circumstances were in your life, but, um, actually you just got planted and you have to think about a seed has to go underground and be in the dark for a while and be dormant and get watered and then the chaos happens and the seed breaks and the root comes out and then from the root a stem starts to emerge and that has to break ground before it can fully grow up and then start to grow out and blossom into a beautiful flower or whatever it's going to be, right? So it goes back and forth. You root and ground to grow up and out. And so it goes back and forth in the sense that the root comes out and then the stem pops up and then the root grows stronger and then the stem grows stronger. And so the roots grow out and become stronger. There's a stronger foundation coming from that. And then from there, once that's more established underground, that's when the, the full um, stalk can come up and then everything can start to sprout off of that stalk, right? So this foundation, you're building a new foundation. You have to go underground for a while. Just know that you're being planted and you're blossoming into your new life. And look at the positive here through all the quote unquote heaviness, chaos, and negativity, the storm that's happening in your life. Okay, I hope this was helpful, Leo. I'm gonna um, dig a little deeper here on the extended. So hop on over to my Patreon if you'd like that. And if you want to sign up for a higher tier, there will be a full moon meditation being posted on the 10th as well. And you will have access to that if you go up to either the 1111 or the 888 um, tiers. All right, I'll see you guys on the extended. Peace.